Hustle of the Squad back with another video. I'm Reckless. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Let's appreciate y'all. Like I said in the last video, um, I am a little sick. Uh, may not seem like it, but I am a little sick. Uh, baby girl is sick. Um, not the baby baby girl. I know we got two. Uh, one is uh, six month old, and the other one is uh, well, she about to be six months. The other one is uh, about to be three, April twenty third. But the the so the the three year old we say is uh sick she's sick with a cold so after this definitely gonna get her uh together um you know get her some medicine and some uh some chicken noodle soup uh from the store definitely uh you know like i said in the last video it's one thing you know um <clears throat> try to get a lot of videos out for y'all and you know have have extra long talks but baby girl is sick so i can't do too much today y'all make sure you hit the like button make sure you also go check out doug's channel in the description box down below Let's get in the video, see what Fanny has We're done. going to Georgia where a new front has opened up against Fonnie Willis. That's good news. Governor Kemp, now, he's no ally of Trump's. He wouldn't do any favor for Trump's, but he's going after Fonnie Willis on a whole other front of her not prosecuting criminals. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. This is where you get the most up-to-date stuff on Fonnie Willis. Not that we care about Fonnie Willis, but because we care about Trump. And Fonnie Willis is one of the biggest, loudest people to go after Trump. And mm -hmm. one is in the middle of a slow motion face plant as we watch her career fall apart before our eyes. And with the stroke of a pen, it was official. Governor Brian Kemp says the state will hold district attorneys accountable. They pretend like, oh, it's just about any district attorney they're going to hold accountable. Really, this is about Fonnie Willis because this was before his desk last fall. And he punted on it. He goes like, oh, we can't do this. I'll, I'll tell you about the workaround on how they got this thing through. It's really kind of genius. Today, we are renewing our commitment that we won't forfeit public safety for prosecutors who let criminals off the hook. I don't know where Brian Kemp's been for the last couple of years because it's all the prosecutors been doing in Fulton County is letting criminals off the hook. This is the same thing as what Alvin Bragg did. This is kind of what the Soros way that he's destroying America. Suddenly, Brian Kemp has this kind of come to Jesus moment of, oh, I found something now, you know. Now we're going after those DAs that don't prosecute criminals. Okay, well, kind of convenient. It's good that Fonnie Willis has become such a national embarrassment that this is the fire that's been put under Brian Kemp because it made him look stupid. The new law revives the Prosecuting Attorney Qualification Commission, tasked with overseeing complaints filed against district attorneys and solicitor generals. The commission can investigate alleged misconduct, discipline, remove, or even force retirement, depending on the situation. When out-of-touch prosecutors put politics over public safety, the community suffers and people and property are put at risk. This is just a tiny, tiny bit of reform which is needed and it's considered just completely radical that anyone stepped in and said, hey, we need to hold DAs accountable. If they don't prosecute, we can remove you. Previous versions mm -hmm. of the law restrict the disciplining of a DA until the Supreme Court affirmed the ruling. But in November, the state Supreme Court refused to approve the rule. The version signed today removes that requirement and gives the eight-person panel more power to move forward without the Supreme Court. Camp and the gang tried passing this bill to be tougher on DAs. And then the Supreme Court comes in and goes, no, you have to pass it through the Supreme Court. They did, they just signed it into law and just said, well, you no longer have to go through the Supreme Court to approve this law. And so they did a workaround. I think it's genius. It is. It's, this is how you that do is. stuff in Georgia, guys. When the previous version of the bill was considered, many vowed to file complaints against Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis for her prosecution of former President Donald Trump. It caused many DAs across the state to speak out against the measure. As you know, there are already legislators who have vowed come October 1st to file commission complaints against district attorneys here in Georgia for just doing their job. Is Fonnie Willis just doing mm -hmm. her job, ma'am? See, that's what I'm talking about. It's the in denial. It's the in denial. That's not doing that's not doing your job. If you was doing your job, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. We wouldn't be putting out these videos. This stuff wouldn't be on the news. It wouldn't be nowhere. So when somebody says that all oh, just doing our job, that's y'all know, come on. It's been going on for this long. Not to mention of just think about this. This whole this whole year of 2024. 
It has been nothing. When you look up, type in Trump, you're going to see either Letitia James photo pop up or you're going to see Fannie Willis photo pop up. Any anything and, and it's, it's, it's nothing positive coming from uh, either of those two. Nothing. So when you say that she's just doing her job, people need to start thinking about that instead of going on live camera saying, oh, she's just doing her job. And being in denial about it, I don't. I don't see how that. I don't see how that. I don't see how that 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 works for them. When you say that she's just doing her job, I just. I, me personally, I don't, and they don't either. That's the thing, they don't either. Are you sure you want to say that that Kemp is going to go after Fonnie Willis because she just did her job of hiring Nathan Wade, of Tired pursuing of political it. opponents of Biden of going working with the white house potentially allegedly stuffing cash from her campaign is that just doing your job and meanwhile cases people are running around with chainsaws cuff me Mr. there are people out there with chainsaws you're cuffing me on the streets and she will not prosecute them is that doing her job and in one of her previous interviews on the matter DeKalb County District Attorney Sherry Boston says the law is an assault on democracy to drag DA's in front of a commission around decisions that they have been given constitutional right to make we are embarking on a very dangerous journey they can walk someone like Fonnie Willis in front of an eight-person panel and the panel can just go look why haven't you prosecuted any crimes in this uh in this state why are you letting all these people go what where are you spending all your time and resources and money buying computers and buying trips to the caribbean instead of prosecuting crime i think they've got a good case against fonnie willis here i think this is a good move by brian kemp and i know he wouldn't do any favors for trump but i think even he had to answer law, like why aren't i doing anything yeah. about this in front of me it makes brian kemp look bad so this helps make him look good so i support it open up another front on fonnie willis get her hard brian kemp let's see what kind of man you are i'm doug make sure i go check out doug in exile in the description box down below my thing is uh with this whole video put out is the simple fact of regardless you don't have to people people that's what that's what people fail to realize i'm gonna say this this is what people fail to realize just because you don't support trump support the the anybody you know affiliated with with trump doesn't mean that you have to go with the opposite that doesn't mean that whatever it whatever is right is right Whatever, <clears throat> whatever facts there is, that's the facts. It shouldn't be so. Oh, well, I don't like Trump, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with DA Fannie Willis because no, it don't, it, it don't work like that. People need to stop being in now. <clears throat> People still uh, need to stop treating this <clears throat> the way that it is. You know, um, just because they don't, just because they don't like Trump, that's how I look at it. You know, and I, I feel like it's bogus. It's definitely bogus, but you already know. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Catch y'all next one.